Hey, what's up you guys? Flint EW here, and today I wanted to give you guys a quick peek at what I use in my class setups, in case anybody wanted to know. Um, I'm probably not going to show how to use them in-game, because that would make this video like 45 minutes or an hour long, and I want to keep it kind of around the 5-10 minute error for you, so that way it's not, you know, you got to search through everything and all that. But uh, I've got eight classes, and my first class will be the gun setup. I obviously use the guns, the regular guns. I put a plus three evasive fury cell on and a plus three swift cell and I'm using the volcanic barrel, full bore chamber, captain's grip, extraction cataclyst, and searing prism. And then for my helmet I run the drafts helmet and I put on a destruction cell plus three and I'm running the Koshai chest for my chest with a plus three conduit cell the Koshai gloves with a plus three destruction cell and the Koshai pants with a plus three etheric attunement cell. And in the end over here you should get plus six etheric attunement which is giving you plus fifty percent lantern charge from attacks. You should get plus six conduit which is after using your lantern's hold ability grant plus fifteen per percent attack speed to all slayers for ten seconds. Whoops. That was my bad. And a deconstruction at plus 6, which deals plus 100% damage to objects created by behemoths, which is great for, like, you know, the nade zog and all that, especially with guns since you're sitting back. And a uh, plus 6 evasive fury, um, which gives you, after dodging through an attack, gain plus 20% twi plus 20 attack speed for 11 seconds, which, again, we're gaining a lot of attack speed. And then a plus six predator which after not taking damage for 15 seconds which is pretty easy with the gun since you sit back deal plus 35 percent damage bonus is lost when hit and then plus three swift and while the guns are sheathed it will give you plus 15 percent movement speed and for my potions i am running the blitz tonic which grants uh, between 10 percent and 30 percent increased attack speed based on health missing for 60 seconds and I'm running a Frenzy, which grants 15% increased damage dealt for 60 seconds and grants 30% if the Behemoth is enraged. And I also run an Inspiring Pylon, and uh, whenever you place it, it gives you 25% increased damage dealt from all nearby Slayers for 45 seconds. And I guess I forgot to mention my... Um, I use the Drass Lantern, which the instant deals 30% increased damage for 6 seconds and the hold fires a lightning bolt in the direction that deals 150 shock damage multiple times as it passes through enemies. And on this I am running a plus 3 conduit cell which is giving us a plus 3 conduit. And that's pretty much it for my gun setup. Um, on to my sword setup. Uh, my sword, my fists, or strikers, whatever, and my hammer are basically the same exact setups. I use mainly stagger for them. I don't know why. I just love stagger, so I decided to keep it on my sword and my strikers as well as my hammer. But I'm running a blitz, a frenzy, tonic, and uh, usually a stagger uh, consumable. But in this case, I happen to be using the life drain, which the life drain will give you 12% of damage dealt. Uh, or 12% of damage dealt will hear all nearby slayers for 30 seconds, which is kind of nice. And then again, I'm using the Drass Lantern, and I'm using a plus 3 Theoric Frenzy Cell. And then for my sword, I am using the Hunger, which I have not quite fully got upgraded for some reason. But in my Hunger, I am using Knockout King, plus 3, and plus 3 Theoric Frenzy. And then I'm also obviously using Feast and uh, adhesive hit, so I become unstaggerable while I'm in my special. For my helmet, I'm using the uh, Shrouds helmet, and on it, I'm using a plus three Rage Hunter. I'm using the Shrouds chest plate. On it, I'm also use or I'm using a plus three Rage Hunter. And on my arms, I'm using the uh, Pangar arms. And on it, I'm using a plus three Iceborne. And then on my uh, Boreas, I am using a plus three cunning. And you can see Boreas gives us the other three iceborne. Tangar's arms gives us the Naka King on and on. But in the end, you should end up with plus six Aetheric Frenzy, which gives us plus 12.5 lantern charge on hit. 
plus 6 Iceborne, so when you're under 50 health, you get 30% decreased damage taken, but also while Iceborne is active, so while you're under 50% health, you gain 8% life steal that cannot be healed beyond 50 health. Basically meaning when you're under 50, you take less damage, but whenever you hit, you also gain life back, and you can't gain life past uh, 50 health with Iceborne. And then plus 6 Knockout King, so it gives us 30% stagger damage, which is great. And then after dodging through an attack, your next attack deals plus 100% stagger damage. We have plus 6 Rage, so when you're under 50 health, which works great with Iceborne, we are dealing plus 25% damage. And then Rage Hunter at plus 6, which is giving us 40% damage versus Rage Behemoths. And then a plus 3 um, Cunning, which is giving us plus 4% critical strike chance. And on to my war pike. The war pike I'm using a blitz uh, consumable, a stamina tonic consumable, and an insight tonic. The stamina grants 50% increased stamina regen and 50% reduced stamina cost for 112 seconds. And then the insight grants 40% uh, increased wound damage dealt for 60 seconds. And then I'm using the draft lantern again. On it, I'm using a theoric attunement cell. For my weapon, I'm using the God Hand for my War Pike. On the God Hand, I'm using uh, obviously special, and for the mod, I'm using uh, Munition Amplifier, which stored ammo quality increases slowly over time up to max. Um, and then on this God Hand, I'm using plus three Barbed and plus three Rage Hunter. And then uh, for it, I'm using the Hellions. Uh, head which is giving us plus three savage or plus three rage hunter and I put a plus three savagery cell on it. And then the Kosh Eyes chest plate for the plus three predator and then I put a plus three conduit cell. And for the gloves I'm using the Rez Zakiri and I'm using the uh, plus three savage savagery cell on it. And for the Kosh Eye uh, boots I'm putting a plus three aetheric uh, attunement cell. And with all this, in the end, you should end up getting a plus 6 Aetheric Attunement, which gives plus 30% Lantern Charge from attacks, a plus 6 Conduit, which is, after using your uh, Lantern's Hold ability, grant plus 15% attack speed to all Slayers for 10 seconds, and uh, Predator plus 6, after not uh, taking damage for 15 seconds, deal plus 35% damage, bonus is lost when hit and Rage Hunter at plus 6, which is giving us our 40% damage uh, versus Rage Behemoths. Uh, Savagery at plus 6, which is giving us 100% damage versus Wounded Parts. And with a War Pike, you're obviously wounding a lot. And then Barb, which also gives us plus 40 wound damage, or sorry, at plus 3, which is giving us plus 15 wound damage. At plus 6, it would give us 40, and after dodging through an attack, your next attack deals plus 400 wound damage. I really recommend Barb, but the thing with war pikes is once you wound a spot you don't really need to wound it anymore you just need to keep hitting that spot so there's really not a lot of use for too much barbed okay uh... onto the axe and with the axe i'm using the drass lantern again um, the axe is uh... using our blitz our frenzy and on this one it is using our assault tonic um, this runs really close to my hammers and my fists and my sword and all that as well on what I use, keeping it close to stagger damage. Um, on my uh, Drass Lantern, I'm using a plus three Aetheric Frenzy Cell. Um, and our Assault Tonic grants 40% increased stagger damage for 60 seconds. And then on my Axe, I'm using the Hellion's Axe. And it is giving us Overpower, which should be at six, but it's not fully upgraded, which is why it's only at five. Um, on the Hellions, actually, I use the plus three Knockout King cell. I use a plus three Overpower cell as well. And on the special, I'm using Flight of Ruin. And it looks like there's no mob equipped. But I recommend either one of these. Me, I like the white, lightweight shaft more because your movement speed, uh, or your move speed while charging horizontal attacks is now increased instead of decreased and costs no stamina to maintain. So you ain't got to worry about losing that stamina. Um, and on its helmet, I am using the uh, Shroud's helmet with a plus three Rage, the Shroud's chest with a plus three Rage Hunter, the Boreas arms with a plus three Naha King, or sorry, the Pangar's arms, and the Boreas's boots with a plus three Cunning Cell, which is the same as the Hammer. 
and over here you should have the same exact setup pretty much um, yeah you do so we will move on to the fists which once again the fists are the same setup but in this case we are using the uh, Hellion's fists instead of the Hellion's axe um, I recommend the Adamant Bolt, I really like the Adamant Bolt uh, Titan's Crash is pretty cool but I don't know, if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan you definitely like shooting out a command wave <laughs> uh, for the mod I have no mod equipped at the moment um, and I really haven't paid much attention to these Temptus form duration increased by 10 seconds when Temptus form has less than 10 seconds remaining deal plus 15% damage and critical strike uh, or critical strikes increase the damage dealt by Karma Breaker's damage over time by 10% until the debuff ends or is refreshed. I would recommend the Cyclonic Strike Plate just because you're getting that increased 10 seconds for your Temptus form and whenever it is less than 10 seconds remaining you'll be able to deal that bonus damage. And then I have Chain Blades which my Chain Blades are using the Strikes Chain Blades um, I'm using a plus three molten, a plus three conditioning. It's already giving us another plus three conditioning. On oh, special, I use Reaper's Dance, and on the mod, I use a lightweight chain. And the reason I use it is because it reduces stamina cost cost of the dash by 50%. So whenever you dodge, it costs a lot less. Um, for its helmet, I am using the Prismatic Grace, which is one of the exotic helmets. The, uh, after reviving another player, grant them a Radiant Prism that blocks incoming damage for 5 seconds. The first time you take lethal damage, gain a Radiant Prism that blocks incoming damage for 10 seconds while active reviving another player fully restores both players, but removes the Prism even at full danger. So whenever you go down for the first time, your health will stay at zero, um, and it will give you a Radiant Prism, and then if somebody else would go down while you still have that Prism around and your health is zero and you go to revive them, your health and their health will both go to full but it will get rid of the prism. Um, on that I'm using a plus three molten cell. Uh, on uh, my chest I'm using the Nazar's chest plate and I'm using a plus three iceborne. Uh, I'm using the shrouds gloves and I'm using a plus three engineer and I'm using the uh, Skarn's boots and using a plus three iceborne cell on them. And then I'm using the Skarn's lantern and I'm using a plus three engineer cell in that. And in the end, whoops, I almost forgot consumables. I'm using an inspiring, inspiring pylon, which uh, obviously plays the pylon, but it grants 25% uh, increased damage dealt from all nearby slayers for 45 seconds. We went over that once. Then the iron high pylon, uh, you place it, it grants 40% uh, decreased damage taken to all nearby slayers for 45 seconds. Then the life spring pylon. Uh, restores 22 health per second to nearby slayer for 20 seconds. And with the engineer, we're going to end up making these pylons go a massive distance. But in the end, you should end up having plus three uh, conditioning, which gives you plus uh, 30 stamina regeneration, plus six engineer, which your uh, flask heals for 180 less. So whenever you heal yourself using your up potion or whatever you're going to get a lot of less health from that but it's also going to get plus 150 percent increased pylon range so it more than doubles the range of your pylon oops and then uh... we're doing a plus six iceborne so when you're under 50 health you get the 30 percent decreased damage taken and while it's active you gain eight percent life steal that cannot be healed beyond 50 percent health and then plus six medic so when you're reviving the ally they are healed an additional 40 percent uh, increases revive speed by 66% and after reviving an ally gain a 300 health shield for 20 seconds which since we're use I'm using this as more of a medic class um, because of the speed that you can use with chain blades and also using the prismatic grace and medic and then plus six molten which dealing damage generates three molten hearts on a 16 second cooldown granting immunity to burning and increased attack and movement speed and then a plus three guardian which is giving us uh, plus thirty percent of health shields applied to me or also applied to my nearest allies for fifteen seconds so anytime i would get a shield i'm also giving an ally a shield um, and then we will move on to the hammer here uh... the hammer 
has the same uh, setup as far as the pants, uh, boots, chest, helmet, all that as the hammer, or not as the hammer, as the um, fist, as the sword, as the, you know, as all that. Um, and then I'm using the Drass Eye again as well with that, and consumable stays the same with Blitz, Frenzy, and uh, Stamina, or not Stamina, um, Assault. And then here we have uh, for the weapon the Magma Quake, which is from one of the legendary behemoths, the Torgadora. And its ability says that you tap L1 and R1 to enter a rage, gaining new attacks for 15 seconds, and deals plus 25% damage when the target is below 50 percent health. Unstable uh, or usable once but resets on behemoth kill. So you can only use this once per hunt but if you're doing an escalation each time you kill behemoth you get that ability back. Um, I'm using a plus three knockout king and overpower uh, to add up for the what we had on the hammer or on the fists and all that and then for the other plus three overpower that we do not have since we're not using hellions I use the hellion as the bond to give us the other plus three overpower and the fifth hit in a row deals plus 225 damage and major major blaze damage then I'm also using a weighted crown and concussive salvo I use for most uh, hunts unless I'm going up against a specific behemoth that I know I can't really um, interrupt otherwise I would use the uh, Mighty Landbreaker, which is going to unload a little mine into the ground and uh, an Aether Vent, and it buffs players who step over it, granting them up to plus 35% damage based on ammo quality. And in the end, you should end up having your plus 6 Iceborne, your plus 6 Knockout King, your plus 6 Air Power, your plus 6 Rage, your plus 6 Rage Hunter, and then on this one we have Aetheric Frenzy and Barbed, and it looks like on the Boreas I put that as barbed on this one to give me a little bit of wound damage for whatever reason I don't know why I did it but I did Bladestorm would be another one that would be great to put in its place you could even do molten if you wanted or weighted strikes and I will get and switch my weighted strikes um, and for the last setup, I have another gun setup, but this is what I like to call my escalation setup. Um, it's more of a medic setup as well. I'm running the repeaters with a plus three predator cell, a plus three evasion cell. I'm using the volcanic barrel, the full bore chamber, the captain's grip, um, scope sights for my mod, and the stone heart prism. And then for the helmet, I'm using the prismatic grace. Uh, with a plus three predator, the Nazaris chest plate, with a plus three iceborne, the um, shrouds arms, with a plus three etheric frenzy, and the um, what's the little fire doggy called? Uh, the ember mains boots or greaves with plus three iceborne, and then I'm also using the ember mains um, lantern and it has a plus three etheric frenzy on it and the ember mains lantern is letting us when we hit the instant attack 25 percent faster for eight seconds which is great with guns um, and then hold the hold ability creates a fireball in front of you that explodes after five seconds dealing 850 blaze damage to nearby enemies i'm not as big of a fan of that but i do love its first ability and then i'm using a blitz tonic a frenzy tonic and a life drain tonic and in the end, you should get uh, only five uh, abilities over here, all plus six. Um, the first one will be a plus six Aetheric Frenzy, which gives you plus 12.5 Lantern Charge on hit. The second will be a Evasion, which gives you increased dodge and vulnerability windows by 42%, so you can dodge without getting hit easier. Um, plus six Iceborne, which under 50 health, you gain 30% decreased damage taken. And while Iceborne is active, gain 8% life seal that cannot be healed beyond 50% health and a plus six medic when reviving an ally they are healed an additional forty percent increase to revive speed by sixty six percent after reviving an ally gain a three hundred health shield for twenty seconds and for the final one a predator plus six so after not taking damage for fifteen seconds deal thirty five percent damage bonus when, uh, loss when hit so with this we're when we're not taking damage we're getting thirty five percent extra damage um, and also when we're using evasion it's making it harder for us to get hit so we're actually able to uh, 
you know, not get hit as easy and keep that, that plus 35% damage. Um, and then I don't have any other setups here, so I think that's pretty wit. But I'll go into a quick little hunt here for you guys um, and show you how my hammer works. And I think we're going to do the easiest behemoth possible, which is the Lesser Nasher, so that way you can see how quickly this can kill something. And as you can see, it didn't take much at all, especially with the, that uh, fist upgrade because of the Torgador's hammer, its ability, killed 118.59. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you.